what's up? I'm Romina and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do twin transitions in 2020. Every time I post twin transitions now on TikTok, literally so many of you guys ask me how to make one. So I decided to do the updated version. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell because I post a lot of TikTok tutorials on here and I want you guys to be early in my videos and learn how to do stuff early. And if you guys don't follow me on socials yet, this is my Instagram and this is my TikTok, which is at Romina Kapoor. Make sure to follow me on TikTok because before I post any tutorials on YouTube, I actually post it first on TikTok. And now before we begin with the tutorial, I'm actually gonna put some videos on here so you guys can see how the twin clone transition looks like. Welcome back, I hope you liked those videos and if you did, stay in this video because I will be showing you how to do that. So the first things that you guys need is of course your phone and then you guys also need a tripod or a ring light or somewhere steady that you could put your phone and film twice so like the positions don't change. I'm actually gonna show you how to do that. And the third thing that you guys need is an app called Video Star. So I already filmed the two videos for my twin transition and the only tips that I can give you guys is just put your phone somewhere steady. I use my ring light, so I just put it there and then don't move it until I film the two videos. You can actually film it in one video. But basically, you find a sound which is like, oh, like, hey, we're twins, we're twins, yes sir. Like, that's the sound that I'm gonna be using for this video. And I am me, she's she, or whatever it is. So one of you will stand right here and then you'll film the video. And then as soon as the sound is done, like the 15 seconds are done, and you will film it in your camera, not on TikTok, just so you guys know. And then the second time you film your video, you can stop the video and then like restart it. And one of you will be on this side of the screen. So just to show you how that would look, I'm actually going to show you guys from the video that I filmed just like five seconds ago. Okay, so here are the videos. This is the first video that I have, which is this one. I go to this side and then film the video. And then this is the second video where I go to the other side of the screen and then film it again, just the whole sound. Um, so I'm gonna press on edit for the first video and I'm actually gonna trim only to the parts that I need for the video because you need to like make sure that you trim it right when the sound starts because it's gonna be easier for you to edit later. Now I'm gonna try to find that beginning of the sound. Okay, I found it. I'm gonna press on done and then I'm gonna press on save video. And I'm gonna go to the second video now. I'm gonna press on edit. I'm gonna go to the part where I know that I only need that part. Press on done. Save video. Now as I have both of my videos starting at the same time, I'm actually going to go to the app called Video Star. So this is where we start editing the two videos together to make them look like it's two of us. Now I'm gonna press on plus up here and then press on edit video. I'm gonna press on videos and then I'm going to choose, let's see, the first video is shorter no, it's longer than the second one. So I'm gonna use the shorter first because then it's not going to look weird. So I'm gonna use the shorter video first, make video. Now we have the first video and we have to import the second one. So what I did is press on new, press on import video, press on videos, and then I am going to press on the first video because it was longer than the second one. So import, the two videos are imported. I'm gonna press on new, I'm gonna press on multi-layer, I'm gonna press on the one, and I'm gonna pick whichever one, and then press on two, and pick the second one. Now, as we're here, I'm gonna press on, it's already on the second one, and it already like gives me choices to pick from. I'm gonna press on at mask. So all I'm gonna do is basically, do you see erase? Yeah, I'm gonna just remove all this part, just like that. Oh, just like that. We're also gonna feather it so it looks a little more natural 
if the two videos are not like the same lighting, it's gonna make it like close to same lighting. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna press on done. Okay, see like in the middle, you can tell that the two lightings are different. So I'm gonna have to feather it more. But other than that, only the, if you guys look at the left in the middle, it's like a little weird. So we're gonna have to go back and fix that part. But other than that, everything else looks great. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna feather this part more. Done, and let's see how that will look now. Oh my gosh, wait. That looked perfect, didn't it? Okay, yeah, that looks perfect. I'm gonna press on create because we already got the two videos together. And creating the video. The both of the videos are together now. I'm gonna press on done, and I'm gonna press on the exit and then I'm gonna press on the save icon, press on send to camera roll, because that's easier. And now as we have it on our camera roll, I'm gonna go to TikTok. This is how to upload it and then like match it with the sound. I'm going to press on the plus. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna press on upload. I'm gonna press the video that I got. And then I know that the sound is like 12 seconds long, I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna just Get that, go to sounds, I'm gonna go to more, go to favorites, and this is the favorite sound that I have. And I matched it with the sound. I'm gonna go to sounds, by the way, go to volume, and make sure that my original is at zero because we don't want like the outside noises on this video, so that's what I did. I'm gonna save it to drafts, and then before I post this YouTube video, you guys will see it on my TikTok if you follow me. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, follow me now because before I post any tutorials, you guys see the videos there first and then you guys already know the tutorial is up as well. Now, that was the tutorial, so if you guys liked it, make sure you give it a like and comment if you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you guys will ever try doing a twin or clone transition. And again, if you guys haven't subscribed to me, subscribe right now and turn on the bell so you get future notifications whenever I post a video. And now guys, I'll see you in the next one!